Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the few things that I travel with and I've made some changes to my travel bag. So if you guys know, this is my Lenovo uh, laptop here. This one has LTE. It has a fingerprint reader. Uh, it has a lot of things on here. This is good for typing and things like that. Uh, so this keyboard is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and again, the best part of this laptop is having LTE. So I can shut off Wi-Fi. You can see I'm connected to AT&T uh, LTE uh, and it just works. Let's close this. Yeah. So this is the laptop. This keyboard is something I do a lot of typing on. Uh, it's really good for uh, data entry or, you know, doing a website or anything like that. It's not the fastest laptop, but since it's a convertible touch screen, I can go into tent mode, you know, I can do a whole bunch with this laptop uh, and it's just awesomeness. So this is my laptop of choice. Also, the battery life on this thing is incredible. It is incredible. So that's my laptop that I take on every trip. I mean, every trip. Now, the next thing that I take um, that I'm going to start taking uh, is my iPad Air 3. Now, this is a bridge keyboard. This is a bridge keyboard and the bridge keyboard will last you up to a year on a single charge. Literally, I know this uh, and it's just a great keyboard and you have all those uh, commands from Apple on this keyboard. So this is the iPad Air 3 and the reason I like this iPad is because it's retails for 500 uh, and it's got the 12 nanometer chip. Uh, it's got a, a nice, it's a nice, fast, stable uh, iPad. And it's affordable. You get a headphone jack, you get the fingerprint reader, you know, you get decent cameras. They're not the best cameras, but if I needed to record something, I definitely could. And as you can see here, I have my Logitech pencil. Now I told people about this Logitech pencil a long time ago. And a lot of people said, no, don't get it. The Apple pencil is better. This is a, now that this can work on all iPads, it used to only be available on the sixth gen iPad, but now it's available for all iPads. And that is a huge plus. So I was using this with the sixth gen. So I got rid of my 6th gen and got the iPad Air 3, which is the latest iPad Air. It's totally worth it. It's a 10.5. Obviously, they gave it somewhat of an upgrade. So it's like having an iPad Pro 10.5 um, with a better processor. Ultimately, that's what it is. You don't get the, the quad speakers. You get the stereo speakers over here. Uh, but it is still blazing fast. And I get my Apple Pencil to do editing if I'm going to edit in iMovie. Now, speaking of editing in iMovie, here's something that I recently picked up. This is a card reader with a lightning port. So it has a lightning port, a micro USB, a micro SD card slot, a full size SD card slot, and then a full size thumb drive. And uh, this right here, you, if you if you need to charge your iPad, it's a pass through. So this is for charging your iPad while you have it plugged in. Huge, huge, huge plus. I've already tested this out. I imported a video that I recorded on this uh, to the iPad. Uh, and it took about uh, two minutes, maybe a minute and a half, take about a minute and a half. This is the video that I recorded and I just I recorded it on my DSLR, plugged in, tried all the ports, all the ports work. Importing time. This is a 1080p, 60 frames per second video uh, and importing times are great. They're, they're, I think it was, that was pretty good. About a minute, minute and a half for a 1080p file. Uh, that's uh, 1080p 60 frames per second, just under a gig. Uh, I think that was pretty good. That was that was actually faster than I thought it would be. Uh, but now I can pop anything in here, uh, and I, I'll I'll start carrying an SD card if I'm carrying an Android phone, so I can take the SD card out and put it in here. That way I can get better quality footage, and I don't have to take uh, like a really high powered camera with me. I can just take this LG G8 that I'm recording with, pop an SD card in there. Take it out, put it in here, get it onto the iPad, edit, upload for you guys, and then I'll be good to go. So um, the the iPad Air 3, to me, with this car radar is a huge plus. This is something that you should look into. I, I got this for $11 on eBay. You can also find it on, on uh, Amazon. It's a little bit more on Amazon, uh, but this is a great tool to have. And the last tool I have here is something for the laptop here. This is Type-C. 
I've got three 3.0 ports there. I've got an HDMI. I've got a full size card reader. I've got a type C port. I've got a micro SD card slot reader there. So if I wanted to go from my phone or whatever to this uh, laptop right here, I definitely could. So this is the current travel bag right here for J will iPad air three bridge keyboard, full size laptop. This is a Snapdragon uh, windows on Snapdragon laptop. So, um, and I've got the full LTE here. This stops me from buying an LTE iPad. I was on the way to buy an LTE iPad and then my reader came in. I tested it. It worked. I, I've done some things with it. I thought this is my current travel bag. Now it used to be just this with this. Now I can go ahead and throw the iPad in the bag and edit all I want to shoot on anything I want. My DSLR, my phone, whatever. Just need to pop an SD card in there and I am golden. So this man, Jay, uh, I decided to go ahead and just throw up a quick video and show you what's in my tech bag that I actually use. A lot of people do what's in my tech bag, um, but I, I genuinely uh, have been using uh, this laptop right here for so long. And um, I, I wasn't really traveling with my iPad a lot, but I was definitely traveling with this laptop everywhere because I have LTE while we're driving in the car. It's amazing. The service, AT&T service when traveling with this laptop is great. And this laptop is unlocked for all carriers. I've tried it with T-Mobile, uh, but I haven't traveled with my T-Mobile data SIM card in here yet, but I'll, I'll probably test that out. But this $11 reader changed my whole way of thinking about upgrading to, and remember I already purchased the iPad Pro when it first came out, but I got rid of it. I just didn't, it didn't work for me at the time. So I was on the way back to the store today to buy another iPad Pro, the 2018 version, because you know, it's type C and all these things. And it's got the upgraded 12, uh, 12 X. I just felt like I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and stick with the iPad air. And I'm going to buy what I need. I spent 11 bucks and this completes a nice circle for me here with a travel bag or just being away from the the desk and and lightweight so this this laptop is really lightweight and obviously the ipad i could probably put both of these uh in my nutsack bag and i know they'll fit and this is like my ultimate travel editing word input everything this is nice this is a good setup for me so i appreciate you guys joining me in another video what's in my tech bag just a few things.